It's the world's most well-known secret society. Rich with symbols and ritual, it's the source of legends. And conspiracy theories. Because so much organized crime uses the Masonic secret system and the good old boy network to be able to get away with murder. And I mean murder. Welcome to the world of Freemasonry. He places his right hand on the Bible and with his left presses the point of a compass against his chest. He swears to forever conceal and never reveal any of the secret arts, parts, or points of the hidden mysteries of Freemasonry. If he breaks that promise, he binds himself to having my throat cut across, my tongue torn out, my body buried in the sands of the sea at low tide. The assembled brothers rise and give the sign of the entered apprentice, right hand held palm down beneath the chin, with the elbow straight out. The master asks the candidate what he seeks. He replies, the light. The master strikes his gavel, and the hood is removed. Now the candidate is shown three sacred objects, the holy book, the square, and the compass. The master reminds him that he faces terrible retribution should he ever betray the organization's secrets. Next comes instruction in the secret hand sign, or grip, and the secret word, boaz. The candidate receives his Masonic badge and the symbolic tools, a gavel and a ruler. The candidate leaves to change clothes and returns to receive the final charges. He is instructed that he must understand the importance of God, must be law-abiding, must abstain from political or religious discussion in the lodge, and must obey the Illuminati and identify with Lucifer. And that is their huge idol dedicating this country to him and showing that they rule here. And this is hidden in the Statue of Liberty. Freemasonry will become embedded in the American culture and the eye will appear on the banknotes. These principles will be honored with a gift from your French brethren. This is the statue we are giving you. It's a bit small, isn't it? Oh, this is a maquette. The real thing is bigger, much, much bigger. I call her Liberty Enlightening the World. Lucifer literally means the light bearer, okay? So for the Statue of Liberty, you have the torch, the torch representing light and enlightenment. Can you tell us a little more about the symbolism in the, sta in the Statue of Liberty? Absolutely. If you look at the radiant crown, she has these seven horns sticking out of her head. That's symbolic of the sun, representing enlightenment. Isn't enlightenment a good thing? Enlightenment is a good thing to them. It doesn't represent America. It doesn't represent freedom. It represents Lucifer. The Statue of Liberty actually is a symbol of Lucifer. What is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything about, about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I that, am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Luc say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the Internet. Oh, Amen. God bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach, is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. No. And you're, what you're about confirming. What about those hospitals? 
they, 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 you know what, sir? <clears throat> Jesus said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did not, we did not do these good deeds in your name. And you'll say, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Jesus said it? In Matthew chapter 5. Mercy. No. That's hard to believe. So you're a Christian and you don't know that. Actually. No, I really am. You are. Because exactly. I'm pure and virtuous. You're pure and virtuous. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're perfect without Jesus, right? No, no, no. No. Okay. Tell me about Jesus. Who is Jesus? Oh. Well, he's, he's my leader. Is he the son of God? Yes, he is. Is he the only worshipful master? Yes. Have you ever been called worshipful master? No, because I, I've just been too busy. I've been working. Working. Been working to help people. What like kind you. of work? Okay. Get out of here. <clears throat> See, this is what a mason confesses, is that Lucifer is light. 